Hi, I'm Lynn Jenkins. I represent the second congressional district of Kansas. Congresswoman Lynn Jenkins spoke to a standing room only crowd at Washburn University today. The public listening session was part of her Congress to Kansas program. Well, Lynn Jenkins, you're a certified public accountant, former Kansas state treasurer, uh, and a member of the Ways and Means Committee. I will yield to, I believe, the only CPA on our committee, Ms. Jenkins from Kansas. This country needs comprehensive budget and tax reform. This means a simpler tax code that is more fair and efficient and fundamental spending reform that will save Medicare. We're looking for an overall uh, restructuring, lowering the rates, eliminating some of the tax expenditures, broadening the base. We believe the tax code is broken today. It's leaking like a sieve. We believe that there is not a revenue problem at the federal level. There is a spending problem. The federal government is broke. So House Republicans have a path uh, laid out in the form of a budget, something the Senate hasn't done. As a mother with two children, I'm concerned, like any mom would be, about the debt we are piling on future generations. We have to look at everything, and you have seen just recently the Republicans step up. You know, we put a moratorium on the House side on earmarks. It's taken decades to make the mess. It's going to take a few years to clean it up. And our current health care insurance system is badly broken, but the President's Affordable Care Act will only make it worse. It will lead to fewer jobs, more debt, and reduced access to quality care. The President's health care bill has many pitfalls. And in this environment of uncertainty, I think employers are just paralyzed. We must repeal the law and take the time necessary to replace it with more patient-focused solutions. With today's action, I'm hoping to put the American people back in the driver's seat. By trying to solve a poorly understood financial crisis, Washington created a regulatory nightmare. The Dodd-Frank bill oh, was signed into law, which uh, did nothing to address the real issue at hand, which was uh, Freddie and Fannie. Dodd-Frank will reduce annual job creation by 4.3 percent, hindering economic growth. Obviously, just throwing money out there doesn't create jobs. Roughly 22 million of our fellow citizens are struggling to find a good-paying full-time job in President Obama's economy. Well, you know, small business is the backbone of our economy. We have passed numerous uh, job creation bills over to the Senate, all lie on the floor of the Senate. We have a rare opportunity to put this country back on the right track to ensure a more prosperous future for our children. Let's take it. It's time to put the American people first. Thank you for taking time to listen. God bless the United States of America.